In this tutorial, we'll look at how to print page numbers on the page when printing in HTML. All right, so I have a simple example here, just an HTML file with a bunch of paragraphs, right? So this is what we have right now. And now let's say we want to print this and we want to see, you know, page numbers or, you know, some kind of total, perhaps. The only solution right now that really seems to work is to use something called page page.js that's what we're going to use here so what we need to do is we need to include this so they give you a script file you can also download it to use it offline but we're just going to use the cdn link here so you can just copy that and i'm going to paste that here in the uh, head section uh, just paste here now since it's in the head section i like to use the defer attribute so it doesn't block parsing the rest of the page right so make sure you understand modern javascript i have a whole course on that it takes a couple of hours but it will benefit you for the rest of your career De definitely check out the link in the description so now when i do that and i refresh it will automatically um will already make some changes right so you can see it already has uh well some margin here right and has already been broken up into sort of pages so if i pr try to print this it will actually already look better now the cool thing is once we included this we can use some uh, css features actually and i'm going to write that here not not in an external style sheet but just here in style uh, tags so here what we can do is we can use add page and this actually doesn't work in all browsers but if you use the this script here it will actually make it work right so it's sort of, sort of a polyfill so what you can say is that we want in the bottom left some content so what we can say here is for example um, the page number right so we can say page a space and then the actual number so this is what you would write page some text and then this will actually give us the actual number right so it's gonna this is actually from uh, css it's gonna make sure that for every page that it gets counted and that we output it here in the content so if i save here and refresh and now when you scroll down a little bit here in my case you should see in the bottom left corner page one right if you only want the number you can just remove that page right so then if i refresh it's only going to say one now let's say we want to have um we we want to mention all the, the the total number of pages so we can also say something like page one of counter and it's page again but then plural counter pages so i'm using spaces here right it, there needs to be some space between the word off and then the number right now if i refresh i get page one of 41 right page two of 41 page three of 41 right so when you print it's going to show that in the bottom left corner here right of course you can change it to bottom right as well right these the, um, this uh, speaks for itself now you can also style this right so maybe you don't like the color or you want to make it bigger or smaller because it's just an html element at the end of the day and actually they use a, an after pseudo element so we can select that um let's see right so it's just in the css it has a class and they use the after pseudo element so if you don't like the color for example you can set the color to maybe a, a, a gray a more gray color maybe the font size should be a bit smaller you can make it 11 pixels or whatever unit you're using but then if i refresh let's see right so now it's a bit more um, de-emphasized right and uh, there's much more we can do with paged js by the way right so we're we're using it for page numbers here but it's actually meant for like bigger projects and you can do all sorts of complicated things with it so definitely check out documentation if you have you know a more sophisticated use case okay now it gets a bit trickier because now we always see these page numbers right maybe we only want this when the user has clicked on like a print button or, right so we, we don't want to we, we don't want to always see this we don't want to see it when we're just regularly viewing the page only when we actually print it so how do we do that and let me actually remove this styling so we can see it a little bit better again well there's not a clear solution to that but one thing we could have is for example a button right let's, let's actually add a button at the bottom i'm going to give it a class of btn and that's just going to be a print button Right, so then at the bottom we have a print button now right, and let's say that only when we click the print button do we want to have the, the, these page numbers so what we can do is we can uh, write some javascript code so we're going to do that after we included the uh, page js script here because we can actually configure it so it will use a global variable so that's going to be on the window um, object the variable name is paged configuration or convic and it's an object and one of the settings here that we can set is auto so we don't want to automatically do all of this 
right? So if we do this, let's see, now we don't have those page numbers, right? In fact, we also don't have that margin anymore. So basically, page.js is not working right now. It's not automatically working. So then what we can do is when the page has completely loaded, we're going to hook into that button using the modern arrow function syntax here, right? So make sure you, you, you have mastered modern JavaScript. So I'm going to select the button here. And it has a class of BTN. I like to append L to the variable name to include to indicate that we're selecting an HTML element here. And then when we click that button, we want to run a function. And specifically what we want to do is we want to sort of invoke page.js, page right? So it's using another uh, variable for that. So we can say paged polyfill. And then we can call preview on that. And, it could, and, that's, and that can take some time. So it's actually asynchronous. So it's actually a promise. We can tag on dot then. So then once that's uh, finished, we can do something. Um, and actually, let's, let's just see before we do anything else. Let's just see what we get now. So now if we refresh and go to that button, let's see, print it. Now you can see it applies page.js, right? And we see the page numbers. We can then click on print, right? And everything is still working. Now, maybe you also want it to immediately open up that window, right? So maybe because the user expects to be able to print, right? So you can just use window.print because in the dot then here, this is after the preview has already worked basically. So you can just use window.print. All right, so now if I refresh, go to the bottom and eventually it opens up that uh, window preview from the browser as well. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you wanna be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.